you seen that, the numbers on the Hanover deal? Forget about Hanover. Have you seen this? Why are you reading that rag? For your information, I used to own that rag. Maybe you should buy it back. Or bankrupt them. Jeanette, get me Sandra Sundell of the legal department in here. What will you accomplish by suing them? Olivia, the feds are breathing down our neck. PR trash like this could do irreparable damage. It says that I bought Philip's way out of the hospital. Then you spit it. Just let me handle this, please. False alarm, Jeanette. We don't need legal after all. Olivia, Come on. Are you... Philip was overwhelmed by everything that was going on in his life. He just needed a rest. Well, that could be a tough sell, but uh, I'll set up a meeting with the PR department. And in the meantime, I think it's important that I stay on at Spalding on Philip's behalf. For the good of the company, huh? You and I both know that it's important for Spalding to be perceived as a company with a steady hand at the helm. Yes, I know. What's going on? I saw it. I'm very sorry. Oh, it's the mirror, Alan. Nobody believes anything they print. Don't be so sure. We think we need to do a little uh, damage control. I have already spoken to PR. I will do some interviews. I will get the truth out. Well, Alan and I were just discussing. Really? Good. Mm -hmm. yes. This is a matter of fact. Problem. We've dealt with similar issues in the past. I'll take care of it. A much bigger issue is what we're going to do about this run on the stock. That we have to put a stop to right now, which means we have to deal with these feds and get them the hell out of here now. You're right, as always. But we also have to be mindful of how the stockholders perceive your return. Honey, did, did you not hear what I just said? We think that we need to proceed cautiously with your transition back. It needs to be done slowly, Philip. There's no reason that you have to jump right back in. But there's no reason for me not to. can't react to this kind of garbage. You can't not react to it given the, the, the tentative nature of our stock. Just look at it as a uh, preemptive strike. Look at what as a preemptive strike? What are you trying to tell me? Alan and I both agree that we have to deal with the consequences of this article, okay? We have to make it a moot point. Look, we are afraid that the spotlight might stress you out again. And it will do all the good that the, your treatment did. You trying to lock me out? No, 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 this is just a temporary measures, that's all. Uh, and. Who will be filling my shoes here at Spalding temporarily? I will, sweetheart. So you're locking me out of my own company? No, 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 no. You know I would never do that. This is your birthright to run this company. But you think that Olivia should temporarily take my place here at Spalding? It won't be long. And this way you won't be scrutinized in the press. Well, honey, don't, don't misunderstand. I, I appreciate you looking out for me. And that's really all I want, is to look out for you and this company. Philip, trust me, if there was any other arrangement, I would have never agreed to this. So it's your best judgment that I should ease back into my old job? Exactly. And in the meantime, I'll be your eyes and ears. Count on me to tell you everything. Uh, don't forget, son, I will be here as well. See? He'll be here. Nothing to worry about. I see. Um, why don't we uh, do dinner a little bit later on at Beacon, and uh, we'll show those naysayers that Philip Spaulding is back and better than ever, huh? Let's do that. Let's show the naysayers that Philip's back. Honey? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would ever do without you. Hi, it's Olivia. Where do I stand on Spalding stock? Good, but keep buying. I don't have much time. 